Hi everyone, today what we're going to be doing is creating some Azure B2B guest accounts. So I do have another video that explains more so what Azure B2B guest accounts are, but just a quick summary. Basically, it's the ability to create accounts in your own Azure Active Directory tenant as guests rather than full users. What this means is that the identity management stays within the user's uh, tenant. So for example, if you have another Azure AD tenant and you want to invite someone from that tenant as a guest, they would actually be using their username and password to sign in to their own tenant and then they'll actually have access to your own, to your tenant. So what that means is, in technical terms, is that the identity or the IDP the identity provider is actually in the user's own tenant rather than yours. It makes it easier for user management um, if you don't want to have to manage a whole bunch of other accounts that you just want to have access to a certain SharePoint location or something along those lines. So let's get into it. What we're going to do is sign into our account that has privileged access. So we'll go to the Azure Active Directory portal. And here we will see users as usual. Let's click on new guest user. This time we're going to invite a user. Last time we created a new user, today we're going to invite a new user. So let's call this one, we'll call it Elias out here. I'll just put a CC at the end, cloud context, that's the domain we'll be inviting. Put Elias at here at cloudcontext.com.au. Elias at here. Here you can put a personal message, so something like, Hi Elias, please use the attached link to configure your guest access in-house of cloud. I'm not going to assign any groups or roles. Usage location, it's always a good idea to set this. I think I've mentioned this before, but a lot of the time, Office 365 um, applications, they look for the usage location field uh, and I think it's a good idea to always set it right at the start. Let's click invite. Okay, so the user successfully invited. You'll see that the user at the moment is just a guest user. Okay. We'll open Outlook. Should actually receive a, the guest user should receive an email inviting them to the uh, tenant. Here we go. Use the invitation email. You see my message in here. Please use the attached link to configure your guest access. The domain. All the user has to then do is click on accept invitation. As you can see, it's asking me to sign into my cloud context account, so I will. This here is actually a permissions request. So Assess My Cloud needs to be able to sign me in to Assess My Cloud and it needs to be able to read my name, my email address and look at my photo. So this is quite basic stuff. So I'm gonna click accept. So I'm now signed in to my Cloud Context user account but as my Assess My Cloud invited user. 
go back to this here. I just want to show you that once the user actually accepts the account, it actually changes it changes uh, the appearance of the user here in the portal. There we go. You can see the email address is cloud context. And the source is an external Azure Active Directory account. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps.